Hey, what's up, everybody? Primus Prime Twenty Two here, bringing you another video, another, another, another episode, another, another podcast of the Transformers Lore Podcast. For those of you who don't know, the Transformers Lore Podcast is the podcast companion to the Transformers Lore series, in which we talk about things from Transformers Lore. They don't have a visual element to it, so you really can't make a video on it. So we're doing it in an audio-based podcast form. Today, we're going to be talking about a story called Prevenge, which was originally a script from BotCon. And it's a, it like like most well not like like a lot of BotCon scripts like Be in the City, it is a it's sort of a multiversal adventure type deal. Um it's good in some ways, in other ways it's <laughs> uh let's just say it's uh uh that's how I'll put it. But in other ways it's good and so so let's just get into it. Basically what happens is um Transformers from all over the multiverse at different times in the multiverse get dragged to this strange facility place. Um, this is Blades of Union 911.05 Alpha from Rescue Bots. He gets taken to this place. Snarl of Prime X 94.17 Alpha, the G1 American cartoon, comes to this place. Actually, he comes over um, during in Transformers the movie. Galvatron launch, launches an attack on Autobot City with the sweeps, and Snarl short, sort of shows up for one scene in that part. And if he shows up in one cut, one cut of that scene, and then he just disappears. This is what happened to him. He got taken away from the fight into a different point in time. Um, um, it's still really the same universe, Prime X 94.17 Alpha, um, but this is just why he wasn't at the movie in 2005. This likely takes place far beyond 2005. Well, not, this takes place after 2005. Next, we have Ultra Magnus of Prime X 10, 1005.19 Gamma of the IDW universe. Um, he comes from, I believe, around 2013. It's at the point where he's teaching Tailgate the Autobot Code, so, he sort of gets brought into this universe during all of that. Ravage of Prime X negative 408.24 Epsilon, aka the Shattered Glass universe. Um, Ironhide of... It's either it's either Viron or Viron 901.8 Alpha or something similar to it. Um, but he was going to a cereal plant with Hotshot. Um, and he was finally Decepticon or Predacon, I can't remember, Windshear, who wants an O part. But during the battle, he gets Ironhide gets taken away to Prime X 94.17 Alpha. Also, Sonar, a Maximal, who we really can't tell which Sonar it is, or if it's even a Sonar we've seen before, because, you know, no Sonar has her voice actor, um, and there aren't really any major Sonars out there that we can assume it to be, so it's just a Sonar from some unknown universe. Well, then we have RC of Malgus 1207.26 Alpha, RC of the animated universe, and she was just about to tell Sari her origins before she gets taken away, so there's that. And then Sure Shock of RX 402.24 Gamma, the Dreamwave Armada continuity. <clears throat> and for some reason, I think it's because of all the whole multiversal shenanigans, the border with the quad wall universe is actually pretty weak here, so you have some fourth wall breaking here. But basically, all these Transformers have been brought together, and like, what are we here for? They get attacked by Alloy Gators, sort of that sort of deal. And um, Ultra Magnus of the IDW universe eventually steps up and says, all right, I'm taking command, we're going to find out what's going on here. And um, they eventually find an evil voice who's telling them to kill each other, but they refuse to, and then there's something about a bomb. But eventually they learn that the person who's been taking them to all these universes is the Skuxoid. And if you don't know who the Skuxoid is, he was the alien from the G1 cartoon, the sort of pig-looking type thing. Um, that was pretty much a joke. Um, but basically, he's he's pretty much tired of being beaten up by the Autobots, um, and he wanted to bring Autobots together to, you know, sort of make them die in these in this in this jigsaw-style sh scenario he has. Um, but he really didn't know how to work the device, so he ended up just bringing in random Transformers from the multiverse at different points in time. He's even sad because that all they call him, all all the Cybertronians call him is the Skuxoid and not by his real name. And then they try to ask what his real name is. He's like he can't remember. He's just been called the Skuxoid so so long. And then um, Snarl, the Dinobot, sort of just um, defeats him. <laughs> now, interestingly enough, there's one part in the story where they sort of don't know what to do. And the, and then the the border with the quad wall cluster pretty much collapses, and they can see the writers, and they ask what the writers to do, and they tell them to turn in the next page in the script. Um, and then there's another part where they they don't know who the Skuxoid is, so they have to use the TF wiki for it. Um, 
And one of the writers is a one of the major mods for the TF wiki. There, <laughs> there's self-insertion in fanfics, and then there's this. It takes it to a whole new sort of cringy level. You think you think the admins at the TF wiki know that <laughs> know that the community's larger than them? Sometimes I wonder. But um, yeah. So there's that. But anyway, they won't start to wonder how to go home, and then Ironhide's like, well, <laughs> where he's come from in Japan in the anime, uh, stories usually end with everyone laughing at a dumb joke, and then it just fades out. So they laugh at a dumb... They just they just stand there and laugh, and all of a sudden everyone's poof back where they belong <laughs> in the universe, in the multiverse. So... So, yeah, that's that's prevent... Oh, and Ultra... Uh, Ultrox, Jesus Christ. Ultra Magnus um, meets up with Tailgate again. Apparently he hasn't been gone that long. And he says that we will never speak of this again. And he never speaks of his little multiversal adventure again. Not even <laughs> when Perceptor says that there are no such thing as alternate universes. That part in More Than Meets the Eye makes no sense. But, moving on. That's Prevenge. It, it, again, it, it answers some questions. It's good in some places. Other In other places, it's cringy self-insertion. But, but besides that, yeah. So, thank you guys for listening. We covered it this story that's another one to check off the list thank you guys so much for listening subscribe if you like and have not yet check out my social media links in the description and have a good day ladies and gentlemen i think when we return we'll be back to beast wars uprising so let's so look forward to that i guess